All right, let's select this front plate. We're not actually going to smooth this for the final high poly, but I do want to bevel this edge here. So I'm going to double click on the edge and hit bevel and play with the fraction and just turn it down a little bit. Take this edge and bevel it and turn that down a little bit as well. That looks good. Let's do the D-pad frame next. <clears throat> you can see that the interior collapses in on itself when I hit three, which is smooth preview. So I'm gonna hit one to toggle that off. And I will select all of these outer edges here. And once I have them all, I'm going to bevel them and turn chamfer off and decrease the fraction to create fenced in edges and then uh, it will no longer collapse in on itself because I probably don't need to decrease the fraction here. Let's create an edge loop here. You can see when I hit three that the back face is um, no longer collapsing. I'm going to select all of these edge loops and hit bevel, turn chamfer off so that they hold on to their angle. The D-pad will smooth nicely, so I'm not going to worry about actually um, changing the edge flow. I will scale it up just a touch for me. Let's look at the select button. It smooths mostly well, but there is some pinching happening on either side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this edge, hold shift, double click on this edge, which will select the edge ring. Then I'll go to edit mesh and uh, collapse. And that will merge all those together. Now if I do smooth preview, you'll see that that looks good. Got rid of the pinch, so I'll do the same thing on this side. Select one edge, hold shift, double click on the other. I'm going to hit G to use the collapse tool again. And that looks good. Next we have the uh, B frame. I'm going to hit control one on it to isolate it. And I'll select this outer edge here and the inner edge all the way around. And it looks like I have an extra edge here, so I'm going to select it and hold control and hit delete. And I need to target weld this vertex to this one. So let's get zoom in here and do that. Now I'll go ahead and select this outer edge. and the inner edge make sure I have them all then hit bevel turn chamfer off let me decrease the fraction a little bit see what that looks like by hitting three and smooth preview I'm going to bevel this edge just to harden the edge a little bit so it's not quite so soft when I smooth it. 
going to delete this one and then duplicate this one again just because we did some editing on it it'll be faster so i'll hit Control d i'll center the pivot i'll turn on wireframe unshaded and then i'll vertex snap to the center of this button by middle mouse clicking and dragging while holding v and I'll rename this to A-frame. Middle mouse click and drag so it's beneath B-frame. And these buttons look like they smoothed just fine. So I'm just gonna go through and make sure I've done all of them. And I believe I have. So I'm going to save it Again, I'll turn on a uh, screen space ambient occlusion and anti-aliasing to get a sneak peek of what you know some of the AO looks like, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.